Whitefield. Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of Whitefield. Today we are going to make a song in Q Tractor. This is Q Tractor, the working center of my studio. Right now it's empty, doesn't contain any track or any clip in it for that matter, but pretty soon it's going to look like this. This is what a Q-Tractor session looks like. This is the timeline. This is the mixer, contains tracks, and the timeline contains clips, MIDI clips within MIDI tracks, and audio clips, obviously, within audio tracks. Each track sports your usual track controls, your solo to only hear that track, your mute to not hear that track. All right, you can combine all those controls. All right, to see what I mean. And your record. To arm that track for recording next time you engage the record button and this is combinable too. When you select a track in the timeline, it is selected in the mixer and vice versa. Alright, this is how you move in the timeline by shift clicking anywhere you want to move and this is how you play. All right, by the way, this is how it sounds. And this is a sneak preview of my last song, Secret, which is still at the mastering phase. So consider yourself one of the happy fews, a VAP, so to speak. So now, let's make a new song, shall we? There are three ways to create a new track in Qtractor. You can use the track menu and select Add Track. You can right click in this blank area and select Add Track or you can use one of your user-defined keyboard shortcut and we'll get to that in a later episode. Okay, this is our kick track. You can use a pretty icon if you like. This is a MIDI track. So right now we did an instrument. We are going to use the Calf Fluid Scent. You just have to type the name of the plugin you want to insert in a track and double click its name. Pump it up to the max, take the reverb and the chorus out because you don't want that right here and right now. And click on the sound foot button and head over to user share sounds SF2 and load this big fat font. Right, this is the first MIDI channel, so first menu, descend all the way down where the drum kits leave. The first one is called Standard, select that one for now. Right, hit C to create a new clip, but right now Qtractor wants to know where we are going to store this song. So let's give him a directory and a song name. All right. So it's going to leave it in there and every file that we are going to create in the course of this song 
be it MIDI or audio files, will live in that directory. So you can zip it and move it from machine to machine. It is self-contained, so keep it clean. All right, this is our first standard drum kit. Now, the kick drum in the general MIDI specification is located at C2. So without further ado, select the pen tool to write notes and boom, 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 boom. Now right click in the ruler to position the right marker, select the loop engage and click play. All right, so it is not yet time to push the furniture around and call friends over for a dance party. We are going to mm, jazz it up. Okay, we have a kick track now, but it's not very loud, isn't it? So we're going to need a compressor, but before we do any further damage, and as good practice, every time you start a new song, we are going to insert a limiter on the master audio bus. Select Calf Limiter. Now, everything we are going to play right now will not get over the 0 dB and will prevent poking holes through the ozone layers and killing bunnies and stuff. So right now, compressor. Choose the radium mono compressor, which is a great one. When you want to interact with a plugin, click always on top so it doesn't disappear behind the main interface. All right? So this is our kick and sounds a little better right now. All right, now we need a bass track. So let's add one. Select the bass icon, it's a MIDI one too. And this time as an instrument, we are going to use the mighty Zenat Subfix. It's right there. It is a very powerful sound but it's a little dumb in that you have to tell him on which MIDI channel <coughs> sorry, your track is actually sending notes. So we are on the MIDI channel 2, let's tell him that, and he'll remember it is saved along with the session. Let's select the bass bank and the first one will do for now. Alright, so now let's Select our track, hit C, or right-click, clip, new. And let's enter a quick and dirty bass line. All right. Everything you know about editing stuff in your computer applies, such as your control a to select everything, your control C to copy it, and your control V to paste it wherever you like. All right? All right, so. We're going to descend that by an octave. Right, and add some internodes like right here with a lesser velocity. forget to save from time to time. All right. So it could sound a little better. Let's choose a new sound. All 
price. Let's choose this one. Now it needs a compressor too, but this one, it needs a stereo one. One last time. This is silly cool. All right, everybody, that's our show. What we did today, we created a MIDI track. We created a second one. In those tracks, we put instruments. Let me stop that. This is silly cool. <laughs> and we put a limiter on the master bus. I want you all up and running for the next episode. In the meantime, keep on rocking the free world. Woo!